Hey, welcome to part two of the Enerzen Ozone Generator Stink Removal Two Thumbs Up Tool. So, sorry about this really, 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 really late um, review. As you can see, all the games have changed in here. Because this review is done, I think like a year later. Somebody asked me about, um, after the first review, what I thought of it, and I realized, wow, I never made a second review. Anyways, this thing is awesome. I mean, totally awesome. It really, really does the job really super good. Um, I actually use this on this machine right here to clean it. Um, this machine, it smelled like it was in a really, really damp, musty basement in the corner with no air circulation for like 15, 20 years. That's what it smelled like. It actually smelled so bad on the way home after I picked it up, I had to have my windows opened and then I realized there's no way in hell I can get this in my garage. I mean, in my house. So it sat out in the garage, and I stuck this in it, and I had a warning from one of my friends. He said, if you do use an ozone generator, make sure that's the very first thing you do to the machine. I'm talking about cleaning pinball machines. That's the first thing you do is ozone generate it, because if you have any um, rubbers on it, um, this will destroy them. And I'm like, how can it destroy him? So anyways, I took his word of advice and I put it in the machine before I did anything. I think I ran it three hours in the machine and let it sit. And it still had just, just a little bit of smell to it. Remember, this machine was, it was a good eight footer. Put it this way, I had it in my garage overnight and the minute I opened my garage door, my whole garage stunk. So, this machine, you could, after I was done, you could be away from about eight feet and you could get a little whiff of it. So then I put in, I think it was a total of five to six hours I had it running in that machine. And it's been over a year now and well, I'm actually almost done with the machine. I've had other things to do. Um, that machine does not stink at all still. Not one little bit. Um, I will show you what I did. I opened the coin door and I took this, I turned it on, stuck it inside the coin door like that. So it's sucking the air through from the coin door pushing it all the way through the machine and up and out of the head. I think there's a couple, yeah, I think there, there's a couple of very small little vents on the top of these old pinball machines. So this whole time, the door closed just a little bit. It was pushing the ozone through the machine, up through the head and out. Like I said, I think I did that three to six hours. And as of right now, this thing does not smell. Is this machine a overkill for what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, it, it, it kind of is because this is made for super huge rooms. However, with a normal machine, this is going to do it in less than half of the time. So would I have got a smaller one or would I have gotten this one? For the price you're paying, I would get this one. It does the job in half the time, and if you ever do need it for, let's say, a bigger room or a garage, you have a giant unit. Um, my friend has a little one. It's about like this big, and you plug it in a machine. And it, it did work it, it for, for a, I think it was like 20 bucks. It did work. It did a great job. However, um, it's a disposable unit. This one, you can replace the ozone plate in it, buy a brand new ozone plate in it, and just keep using it over and over. I have no idea how long these plates um, 
last. However, I think I'm going to be gone before this needs to be replaced. I don't use it that much. I um, brought it to my friend and I, I've used it on this one machine. So, like I said, I think that plate will outlive me. But if you're using a lot, I'd probably buy a, a spare plate with it right away and just stick it inside the box. I keep it in the box on a shelf, that way I know exactly where it is and it's safe. But this versus um, a, a small, you know, like $25, $20 one, I get this. I think it was 60 bucks, 60 maybe it was 80 I don't remember, it's been a year since I bought this thing. But it's got a, a timer on it. So you can set it for 60 minutes and it will turn itself off. It's got a, a hold feature on it. Well, that goes up to 180 minutes. And then it's off and then you turn it backwards and it's got a hold feature on it, which is pretty nice. And right here, that is the ozone plate that can be removed. I can hear the timer ticking. Cool. But yeah, it's a great machine. Plug comes off, it's got a spare fuse right, in, right inside the machine. Um, yeah, I... I highly recommend it on Amazon. Um, links below in the description. So, yeah. From my friend's little one, little one about, you know, like this big, it just plugs in. It's disposable. When it's gone, it's gone. Neither one of us know, knows how long that little thing's going to last. It might just last, this, you know, you know, 10 years. But for 20 bucks, yeah, I guess it was probably a good deal for 20, you know, if it lasts that long. Like I said, I'm, I got this because I figured a bigger ozone generator would do the job faster. And I would think that one would have took way overnight. I think my friend actually left his run in his machine overnight. And um, the next day it had just a little smell left to it. So this one, what did I say, six hours, five, six hours, and it was done. But yeah, I would, um, I like this one. But yeah, the, the cheaper one is a damn good unit too. But um, sometimes it's about speed. And um, that's what you got, speed. Do not use this in a room where you are working. You will not live long. This will do damage to your body. Put this like out in a garage or a detached building or somewhere you're not going to be for hours and hours and hours. As soon as you um, go into the room, open the doors and everything up really quick, leave it, let the room um, circulate and vent out, and you'll be okay. But this is, I love it. So um, there'll be some cool stuff right here. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and these product reviews. And like I always say, Later.